Hi guys, Stuart here from Airshow World. Okay, so what are we going to do that on this tutorial? Well, this is tutorial number five for the Whistler TRX2. Um, can be used with this tutorial I'm going to show you. It can be used with pretty much any um, other type of um, scanner, radio, uh, that uses um, a computer to be able to transfer frequencies. Um, so, it, um, what we're going to do is show you how to get frequencies into um, Excel and then from Excel using a filter then to get them into the EasyScan software. So what we're going to do is go to the Mill Scanners site and um, you can get these sort of frequencies from pretty much anywhere to, to be honest. Um, my main interest as you know is aircraft so I'm going to put the aircraft frequencies in but you can use this for digital frequencies and um, just search on the internet it's um, freely open to, to anybody to be able to get this in information okay it's in the public domain in other words okay so what I'm going to type just here is United Kingdom you notice I've already started typing it there this is a database which is on the internet here we go and it just filters all of the frequencies through now this has a lot of information um, it has 1227 different frequencies so this is going to take, take some time to uh, copy all of that so we're uh, in the true tradi tradition of um, Blue Peter here's one I made earlier and here we go there we go so that's all of that information basically put into an Excel spreadsheet okay I put I've got lots of different um, worksheets or workbooks across the bottom but this particular one is all of the uh, military aircraft okay so all of that information there how it's set out at the moment that's a lot of information to just want to put into your scanner and to be honest it wouldn't work very successfully because they would be all over the place uh, so what are we going to do we're going to create a filter now I've mentioned filters before on the Facebook page um, for the uh, Whistler UK site and uh, you say, well, how do you use a filter how do you waste well, you know it is so easy it really is um, what I'm going to do as you can see see the B column down here this has got all the inf um it's got the airfield information yeah you've got Mildred Hall Bryce Norton Shawbury and so on yeah so say for example I wanted to um, just have um, the frequencies for Mildred Hall so what I would do um, I would um, select B and see it says filter click that then that little drop down arrow there click that take out that box there that says select all and instead of me scrolling down looking for Milton Hall uh, just type in here M I L D E N H A W -L, L yep now there we go Milton Hall okay and there you go as fast as that it's filtered it through there's all your frequencies that you're likely to need for Milden Hall. I'm going to go across, holding down the left mouse button and scrolling down to the whoops, too far. Let's go back up. Let's go back to the top. There we go. Then right click, go copy. And then go back to Easy Scan software, clipboard icon, click that. As we told you in the uh, previous tutorial, in this new version of Easy Scan, you have to have three columns selected. So, frequency, yes, it's worked out, but that's your frequency column. Let's move across. I'm going to select this as my alpha tag. There we go, click that, and then I'm going to look for something that's got some meaningless sort of information that I can use for my um, mode. 
So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go for column number four. Because, like I told you in the early one, you must have three columns selected in this new version of EasyScan. There we go, mode, I've selected mode. Alpha tag is there, mode there. Let's move it across, double check, yes, frequencies. Click import, and there we go. So it has, it has imported everything that I really want to know for Milden Hall. Okay, let's just go quickly back to Excel. And yeah, everything's still selected there. So if you click the escape key on your keyboard, that takes off the, um, the copy. Or should I say that takes off the select um, for that particular um, range. Okay, we're going to take off that filter. And then, once again, everything will show. Yes, another one more quick example. Let's have a look. Our um, filter, don't forget to select the column that's got the information you're looking for. That's got all the airfield information. Filter. Go click that button there. Take select all out. And let's go for one I've never done before. Let's see. Um, Odium. O D I. If I can spell O D I H A M. Odium. There we go. And quick as that it has now selected everything we need for odium yep. move it across holding that left mouse key down scrolling down to the last item that we're interested in um, I said you could either do right click or I'm going to do control C that selected it so control C is a shortcut for copy yeah. and I'm going to it's put that in the memory of the computer and from clipboard because that's where it's put information notice down my column here it goes to 21 just make a mental note of 21 okay remember that so yeah, frequency. Let's go for column five. Alpha tag. Something that makes no sense. Yes, that can be that one. Thank you. <laughs> Just a quick message from somebody. Um, so yes, column four. I shall use that for the mode. Import number number twenty one. And then go. Any information for after twenty one. So I just clicked that to put them in order. Okay. So from there down to there. What I did there was I selected uh, number 22, went down to the last one uh, for Odin, which is number 38. And so I selected that one and held down the shift key and clicked number 38. Basically what that's doing is just selecting that whole section there. Um, let's have a look. So what I do, I've done this in another tutorial, but in case you just missed that, there we go. I'm going to put them into scan list number two. So yeah set there we go they're all going to be scan list number two they're all going to be for erdium if i go to um scan lists let's have a look right you notice they, have, they are not showing yet in um in the scan list that's just a quirk of um the software if you close um this particular v scanner folder down and reopen it they will be there okay um, have a look at that okay I, ha I have been through this before in a diff and another tutorial um, but I'll quickly show you 
how to so so it all makes sense for you there we go that's M I L D E N H A W L Mildenhall. Yeah, this is the scan list name. Of course, you want to give it something um, that's going to all make sense. O D I H A M. Odium. Have those two selected. If we go back to the uh, scan lists, yes, there's the Odium. But of course, it's still not there. Um, make sure. That each one of these scan lists does have enabled or, or else it will not scan just to prove the point that those frequencies are actually there um, make a quick note see oh, there this is uh, vscanner folder um, 018 file open vscanner folder go down here we go select and there they are Yep, so if you, you start doing this and go hey they're not in the scan list and I say it's just a quirk of the software for some reason it, um, it puts the first ones in but it doesn't put the second ones in until you've um, opened and closed it again okay so that's everything for Odium but um, all of that is explained in more detail in I think it's um, tutorial number three or number four Okay, well, that's just about it um, for today, guys. Thanks um, a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up or a like. And um, subscribe to Airshow World. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you.